Hello and welcome to Fandemonium. I am Joe Lorendi here on this beautiful Saturday. The draft is right around the corner, finally. Uh, my past two shows on here, I've decided that I wouldn't talk about the draft because it was too far away and there was just too much. If we just keep on talking about it and talking about it and talking about it before this, it was going to just be so over-talked about. But now we're finally, finally seeing the finish line here with the draft. So I'm finally bringing it back today with a new segment uh, in a different way of talking about the NFL draft and the quarterbacks that are going to be there. We're playing QB Shark Tank. Now, Shark Tank, one of my favorite shows, and I know a lot of people love that show. So we're going to have all five QBs enter the tank and tell the Bills, who are the Sharks, why they should be the quarterback of the future and why they should invest in their future. That's kind of where the idea came from for this segment, investing. The Bills need to invest in their future. And, of course, it's going to be in a quarterback in just a week or two. So why not bring in Shark Take when we're talking about investment? It is the absolute perfect thing. The Bills have five QBs that they can choose from in this year's draft. Are they going to move up? Are they not going to move up? Who knows? We'll see what happens. So I'm already seeing Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield will be entering the tank later in the show for uh, to try to persuade the Buffalo Bills to draft him. So that's where it comes from, investing in the future, Shark Tank. This may be the best idea I ever had or maybe the worst. We're going to find out because we're going to play Shark Tank. So let's get it started here. So, of course, the Bills are the investors, the QBs, trying to get them for the Bills to come up and draft him. So let's go ahead and go right into it. Got the music ready for you. First into the tank is going to be Sam Darnold. Sam Darnold, a Southern California native who turned around a struggling USC team. Darnold regarded as being the best talent in this year's draft. Will the Bills invest their future in Sam Darnold? All right, so Sam Darnold is in the Shark Tank. Now, many of you may be saying Sam Darnold may not be there when the Bills go to pick. He may go first overall to the Cleveland Browns. We'll see what happens. I'm also seeing Bills trading up to number one uh, from Donnie in here. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, you got to remember who we're dealing with here, the Cleveland Browns, a team that just went 0-16. I know they have a new GM, and I know they have a new front office there, uh, but possibly if any team's going to mess this one up, it's going to be the Cleveland Browns. So you can't rule anything off the table. I've seen a lot of Sam Darnold going off number one. I've also seen Josh Allen going number one. So who knows? And maybe, I mean, I don't think it's going to happen. I think especially with the with the Jets moving up to three, that the Browns would trade the number one pick. Uh, but crazier things have happened. Crazier things have happened in the NFL. Uh, but I think for sure the Browns will be selecting a QB at number one. Who that is, we'll see. But let's pretend uh, right now that, Sam Darnold is there wherever the Bills may lie. If it's number two, if it's later in the draft, who knows? NFL draft is crazy. What does Sam Darnold bring to the table? Should the Buffalo Bills invest their future in Sam Darnold? Well, a couple of things here. Darnold, I, me personally, am all not that impressed. I know a lot of people have been saying, oh, he's got the tools. He has the potential. He has the highest ceiling is uh, something I keep on hearing. For Sam Darnold, and I just I haven't I've watched a couple games, and yes, he makes some very impressive throws. He does look good, and I think he could be a good quarterback in this league. But I'm just not completely sold on him, and especially I know this I know this is always a knock on QBs from Southern California, uh, but to come up here and play in Buffalo, uh, we do have snow here, FYI. Um, and I'm not saying that you can't adjust to that, but it always just scares me. It's always in the back of back of my mind. Will that be a factor, never playing in a cold condition? Some say it's not a big deal. You can adjust to it. Others, eh, not so much. Ball throws a little bit differently here in Buffalo than it does in the 85-degree temperature of Southern California. And don't even begin. Don't even go there that it was raining on his pro day, and that's going to prove anything. Yeah, I mean, I guess it looks good. It helped his cause a little bit. But don't go there with me that that's going to 
affect him in a December game here in Buffalo. So, Darnold, though, I think a lot of people have said highest ceiling here in the draft. Is it worth the Buffalo Bills making the investment on somebody who has a high ceiling but also could possibly not work out? I think a lot of people would be happy in Buffalo if somehow Sam Darnold ended up on this team. I just know for me, not my number one selection on the quarterback draft. Maybe you Sharks, you can also play the Sharks here. We're all the Bills in this situation trying to figure out who we should invest in out of these five quarterbacks. Sam Darnold, of course, was the first one into the tank today. Uh, But I'm just not completely sold on Darnold. I don't exactly want a project here in Buffalo. We made a play, made the playoffs last year, and not that Sam Darnold is a project. That's kind of a, a loose word to put on him. But uh, somebody with a high ceiling, we'll see what happens. Uh, but just not completely sold on Darnold, but wouldn't be upset if the Bills were to end up taking him in this year's draft. But at least from what I'm looking at, the mock drafts, it seems like a lot of people have Darnold in at that number one pick, so it may not even be a possibility for the Bills in this year's draft. We'll see, and who knows where the Bills are going to be drafting. Still slotted at number 12. Are they going to move up to number two? Will they stay at number 12? Of course, has a lot to do with with what is going on uh, and who the Bills select in this draft. So it's Sam Darnold was entered the Shark Tank. Now he's gone and doesn't get a deal, at least from me being the Shark, doesn't get a deal from me. Uh, let me know what you think. So now entering the tank, the other Southern California quarterback, Josh, or I'm sorry, well, you know what, let's wait on him. We'll go with Josh Allen, the other pick that I've seen to possibly go number one to the Cleveland Browns. So now entering the tank, Josh Allen. Josh Allen, a Wyoming quarterback with a massive arm. The question, though, can he prove himself in the NFL? Is it a risk the Bills are willing to take to get to the next step? All right, so now Josh Allen is in the Shark Tank. I hope you guys know what Shark Tank is. If you're watching this and have no idea what Shark Tank is, then then this you probably think this is the stupidest thing of all time, which it might possibly be, but we're just rolling with it another different thing here on Fandemonium. We like to try new and creative things. So Josh Allen now in the Shark Tank. Josh Allen, of course, the Wyoming QB with an absolutely massive rocket arm. Any any type of big arm adjective that the NFL people use, they're putting it on Josh Allen. He has been impressive in his pro days and, and different outings thus far, uh, at least from what I see from different scouting. And, and you do have to be impressed with the arm and how far that guy can throw the ball. It is very impressive. But is he the future here for the Buffalo Bills? I know a lot of people do not like Josh Allen. And I think it's it's definitely reasonable. Struggled with his completion percentage and completing passes in college. That is one of the worst things you could possibly have on your resume as a quarterback. Uh, I remember listening to an interview from Bruce Arians. The, they call him a QB whisperer. And he said, you can fix everything about a quarterback. You just can't fix accuracy. They either have it or they don't. And Josh Allen is not an accurate quarterback. He didn't show it in Wyoming, and he's probably not going to show it in the NFL. It's just hard to get accuracy just all of a sudden out of the blue. So I got to trust Bruce on this one when it comes to accuracy. You just can't teach it. It's either you have it or you don't. So with that being said, I, I've seen it's very – this this – Drafts is so weird because you see Josh Allen, some people love him, love the big arm, think he's going to be the next big thing in the NFL, and others who want absolutely no part of him. You really, Very rarely do you see this divide between a debate between a, a quarterback, usually if they have a decent arm and are a decent quarterback in, in college, then everybody and their brother wants him because everybody, need, it seems like, needs a quarterback in the NFL. So with that being said, Though I lie on that side of the argument as somebody who doesn't want to deal with Josh Allen. Accuracy, if you don't have it, scares the crap out of me. 
if you're not going to be an order accurate quarterback in college, good luck in the NFL and good luck in Buffalo trying to be an accurate quarterback. It just doesn't come to you over time. You can't teach it. And especially in a place like Buffalo where we struggle to develop quarterbacks, I don't want this project of Josh Allen coming in and being the future of this franchise, having to spend three years to figure out that he can't find a wide receiver over the middle. So I'm an absolute no on Josh Allen. Is he going to be a possibility for the Bills in the draft? Absolutely. And I think as Bills fans, I know it's in the camp that doesn't want him, and there's a lot of you out there who don't want him. But prepare, prepare yourself just in case this does happen. If the Bills have to stay at 12, and I don't know if Josh Allen would fall that far in the draft, but it is a possibility that Josh Allen could be the next quarterback of the Buffalo Bills. So Sam Darnold, Josh Allen both have come into the tank and haven't got sterling reviews from me the sh- uh, being the Shark, also the Buffalo Bills. I guess put, instead of Kevin O'Leary there in the middle, we have, we have Brandon Bean next to him. Uh, in the tank is Sean McDermott. So just the, those are the Sharks. These are the quarterbacks entering. So now let's go on to the next quarterback entering the tank. It's going to be UCLA quarterback Josh Rosen. So Josh Rosen, a UCLA alumni, is known for being the most NFL-ready quarterback in this year's draft. But his character continues to be in question. Will he be the quarterback of the future for the Buffalo Bills? So Josh Rosen in the tank now in front of Brandon Bean and Sean McDermott. I've already seen a couple of you comment that you like Josh Rosen, and I am a Josh Rosen fan. I know earlier I did say uh, a Southern California quarterback uh, is always worries me coming to Buffalo in a place where it's tough to play, where the weather obviously is not perfect, as we all know. But Rosen, I'm willing to look past that one on him. I really like Rosen. I like that he's an NFL-ready quarterback. And I think that's what something that should be very intriguing to Bills fans Going forward, somebody who isn't this big project who has, you know, they use for a high ceiling that needs to develop. Uh, we, we don't do good here developing quarterbacks in Buffalo. We never have. We never, I mean, maybe in the future, but as of right now, we don't, we aren't good at it. So why bring in a big project if we don't need to? If there's one who's NFL, NFL ready, why not go after him and get him? So Rosen, I think, is a popular pick for Bills fans, for somebody they want, and and somebody who most likely will be available via via the draft, via uh, even at possibly at twelve if he falls that far, but into the into the top, you know, the top five if the Bills were to move up. Uh, I do really like Josh Rosen. I think he's uh, got a great arm. And he's a uh, great quarterback and did great things there in at UCLA. But I always hear this character issue with Josh Rosen. And honestly, I don't really understand where it comes from. Uh, one of the biggest knocks on him, and which I just think is ludicrous, is the one that he's rich or his family's rich and he doesn't need football. So thus, he doesn't have the drive to play football. I just don't understand that argument. First off, let's step back a minute. If somebody doesn't need to play football because they're well off already, they don't need the game, and they continue to play football at a high level, isn't it almost more of a drive than somebody who absolutely needs it for survival? Wouldn't that be a good thing? I'm just throwing it out there. I, I, I think if you have the means to not have to go put your body on the line but continue to want to go out there and play, it almost seems like something that would be a good thing in a quarterback, not a bad thing. I really just don't understand where this argument uh, is coming from, that he doesn't love the game. Uh, and I don't think it's a concern. I don't think it should be a concern for Bills fans if he does end up being a Buffalo Bill. The other thing uh, is his is his character, uh, which, I once again, I, after watching a couple interviews from him, he doesn't come off as a cocky guy to me. He likes to state his mind on different social issues, on things that are happening happening around, um, you know, uh, things happening in the community. I don't exactly see 
an issue with that whatsoever. Being here in Buffalo, wouldn't be in the biggest market, wouldn't have the biggest spotlight on him uh, thus far. I just, I just don't get the knocks on his character. So I don't think character for Josh Rosen, if that is a concern for yours, in my opinion, shouldn't be a concern. And James uh, asks, NFL ready, ready, couldn't anyone in the draft be described that way? And no, I don't think so, James. Uh, you know, they throw around that term NFL ready uh, a lot. And I don't believe that that's true for all the quarterbacks. We talked about Sam Darnold earlier who needs a little bit of a developing a lot of these quarterbacks need developing, may need a year or two. When I use the phrase NFL ready, I'm talking about somebody somebody who can step in and and play pretty much from day one. Uh, that's NFL ready, and that's at least what I think of Josh Rosen. Uh, I don't think Sam Darnold exactly could come in in week one and be the quarterback, although he probably will be wherever he goes. I don't think he's NFL ready. So there definitely is a difference, and I don't think you can describe and put everybody under that umbrella just because they're going into the draft. Some do need a year or two of developing. So back to back to Rosen, though. I talked about his character. I, I don't think it's an issue, and I don't think it's be something you should worry about. You should worry about his quarterback play, which I think was pretty good at UCLA. Has really everything that you could want in a quarterback. I really like Josh Rosen. I know I would be happy if he were selected by the Buffalo Bills in this year's draft. Uh, I think he would be, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if that is the quarterback the Bills end up selecting come two weeks from now. Uh, so Josh Rosen, I won't give out the deal till the end of here of who gets the deal in my shark tank, but Josh Rosen in high regard, definitely with the Sharks, who are Brandon Bean, Sean McDermott, and I guess myself. So now let's go on to Baker Mayfield, who will be entering the tank. So Baker Mayfield, a Heisman Trophy winner, knowing for being a QB who has the drive to win, but his character has held him back from being, or will his character hold him back from being a Buffalo Bill in the future? So Baker Mayfield, a very interesting interesting quarterback in this year's draft. A lot of people like him. A lot of people don't. Uh, another one who's kind of in that discussion of you either love him or you hate him. I'm kind of in the love him camp. I love his personality uh, and the way that he plays football, the drive, everything about it. So what, AK? He's a little cocky. Of course he's a little cocky. He's a Heisman Trophy winner. He'll come back down to earth. I don't think it's that big of a concern that he's just going to be a total uh, total jerk his entire time in the NFL. I think, I think he'll come back down to earth eventually. Uh, but, you know, this, he's a young college kid. You can't just keep on knocking him uh, for, for his character. He's got to grow up. He's got to learn a little bit. So enough of that with Baker Mayfield. Let's, of course, talk about the important stuff, him on the field. One of the biggest things people talk about him being a winner, and I think that's what he is. Showed it at Oklahoma uh, and his ability. Obviously had the amazing Rose Bowl first half, but uh, not so great in the second half there it, there in the Rose Bowl. But I just like what Bay Baker Mayfield, he's nifty. He just finds ways to, to get it done, and that's what I like in a quarterback, somebody who's creative and can make plays whenever, even if it breaks down in the pocket, and that's what you get with Baker Mayfield. And I know a lot of people just don't like – what he brings to the table. Also talking about how he doesn't exactly look like an NFL quarterback, not that tall, uh, you know, tall guy back there who just sits in the pocket and makes the throw. Uh, he, Baker Mayfield exactly isn't exactly like that, a little shorter of a guy on the quarterback scale, uh, but I don't think it's that big of an issue moving forward with Baker Mayfield. Uh, I really like Baker Mayfield, and I know a lot of Bills fans – and one argument I keep on bringing up, uh, let's put let's put the the quarterbacking aside. How great of a fit would Baker Mayfield be in Buffalo? Just think about it. That character that he has, and just that kind of like doesn't care personality. I think it's perfect for for Bills fans. It's absolutely perfect. And I, I I'm surprised more not more fans are on the Bay Baker Mayfield or May, Baker Mayfield 
bandwagon for the way his personality is. I just think is perfect with Bills fans. And I think we would really embrace Baker Mayfield here in Buffalo. But of course, the most important thing besides for that is the quarterback play. I think he has it. We've seen some shorter QBs have a lot of success in this league. And, uh, you know, I always comes to mind Drew Brees. Uh, I think Baker Mayfield, not that he's exactly going to be a Drew Brees. I think he'd be a really good fit here in Buffalo. So let's go on to the other quarterback who rounds out this top five. I honestly think the most interesting quarterback in this draft of where he's going to go, when's he going to go, and can he actually play the position? I'm, of course, talking about Lamar Jackson. So Lamar Jackson, a former Heisman Trophy winner. They say he should be a wide receiver, but some say he could be one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. Lamar Jackson now in the Shark Tank. Okay, that's the last of that. Don't worry. No more of the stupid music. But Lamar Jackson, of course, in the Shark Tank. And this one is fascinating, this debate. Some saying he should just stop playing quarterback and go be a wide receiver. Others saying he could be one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. Uh, I talked about the range of kind of the people who dislike Josh Allen, the people who like Josh Allen. The one between Lamar Jackson is not even on my screen. I just don't – I don't understand how there's such this big, you know, variety of opinions on Lamar Jackson. It's it's crazy to watch. What is he going to turn out to be in the NFL? And, I mean, honestly, I don't know. Is he a good fit here in Buffalo is the question we're going to concern ourselves with. I have seen some comparisons – to him and let's say a Deshaun Watson, I don't think those are exactly accurate. I actually think Lamar or Lamar Jackson probably is more mobile than Deshaun Watson is, and probably doesn't have the same arm that Deshaun Watson has. So I don't think that's exactly the best fit. But you saw what Deshaun Watson did in this league while he was healthy, and I think that's where the comparison lies. That if Deshaun Watson can do that, if Lamar Jackson has that good of an arm, he could probably even do more. Um, I don't know if exactly Lamar Jackson is my guy after going off of kind of the quarterback that we had in Tyrod Taylor, uh, somebody who was obviously very mobile and had the, uh, but didn't have the arm. One of the biggest things after three years, as you know, as Bills fans and as do I, it's great if you're mobile, but if you don't have that arm to back it up, there's, there's nothing you can do. There's just no point in it. They can't be a quarterback in this league. Can they win you a couple games? Absolutely. But if you're trying to win big, you need to have an, uh, your mobile quarterback has to have an arm that goes along with it, like Russell Wilson in Seattle. You need to have both, most importantly, that arm. If you don't have the arm, then you're done. And we saw it with three years here with Tyrod Taylor. It doesn't work. Arm comes first. Then the mobileness. Mobile is a plus, but you got to have the arm. Tyrod Taylor didn't have the arm here in Buffalo. Uh, but the question is, does Lamar Jackson have the arm? Personally, I don't think so. I think the college game made him look a lot better than he actually is. I'm not the biggest fan of him, uh, but I know a lot of people out there love Lamar Jackson. I think he's going to be something special in the NFL I'm just not exactly sure if I want to bring on that project here in Buffalo. So I, I don't know, and I'm seeing a lot of people saying he has a huge arm. I, I, I'm just – he does have – but, yes, I mean, when I talk about the, the arm, he does have – I mean, obviously the guy can throw it a, a country mile, but on a consistent basis, I just didn't see that out of Lamar Jackson – uh, he obviously was very good in college. I'm not going to deny that, but will it translate to the NFL level? I think that's the biggest question mark for Lamar Jackson. And feel free, if you disagree with me, put your comments in there. I'm just not exactly sure if his game is going to translate into the NFL and would be a good fit in Buffalo. Uh, and when I talk about arm, it's not just throwing the ball deep down the field. It's making all the different types of throws, uh, you know, and him not being able to re rely as much on his mobile game as he did in college, it definitely brings up question marks moving forward uh, in his NFL career. He may turn out to be a great quarterback, uh, but I just don't think the time is right for him to be the quarterback of the Buffalo Bills. 
So if you've been watching the entire show, we have been playing NFL Shark Tank, where five quarterbacks entered the tank. It was Sam Darnold, Josh Allen, Josh Rosen, Baker Mayfield, and Lamar Jackson. Uh, I, uh, I said I'm out to Sam Darnold, Josh Allen, and Lamar Jackson, mostly totally out to Josh Allen and Lamar Jackson, wherever they may fall in the draft. Sam Darnold, uh, I wouldn't mind here in Buffalo. It just depends on if he's going to go first overall, which is definitely a possibility uh, that he just won't even be available for the Bills to take. I'd be surprised if he ended up in Buffalo just for the fact I think he's going to be off the board before the Bills have a chance to select a quarterback. So that leaves Josh Rosen and Baker Mayfield, my top two quarterbacks in this year's draft. Uh, I would be satisfied either way with either of them. Uh, I am a Josh Rosen fan. Uh, we talked about this earlier, an NFL-ready quarterback. And what I mean by that can come in and start on day one. Not all quarterbacks can do this in this year's draft. They'll eventually get there, but I don't believe that you can just – that. I believe that Josh Rosen is the guy. I think we have a pretty good team here in Buffalo, obviously one that made the playoffs last season. Uh, there are a lot of holes, no doubt, but this could be a team moving forward uh, with a with an NFL ready quarterback who could be making could be making big moves as the future progresses here in Buffalo. So I'm going to go with Josh Rosen. Comment. Let me know what you think. I also wouldn't mind Baker if, uh, Baker Mayfield and Sam Darnold comes in at number three for me on my list. Uh, but we'll see what happens. The draft is just, uh, I believe, just under two weeks away. It's crazy how quickly it's come up, uh, and I think regardless of what happens for the Bills, who they select, we'll look back on the 2018 draft as a big deal for the Buffalo Bills. One, that either they made the mistake and it, and is the reason why they're not where they are right now and not progressing in the future, and or one that this was the one that put them over the top. They got their quarterback, and now we're moving into the future, uh, competing for Super Bowls, which we haven't done a, in a long, long time here in Buffalo. The 2018 draft, we'll look back, and that will be the case. Regardless of what happens, good or bad, this one is going to be a Big one. It's going to be huge in the history of the Buffalo Bills, good or bad. That's the question we're going to have to find out. So that's all I have here for Fandemonium. Uh, it's been a pleasure. I finally decided to bring back uh, the draft for this show, uh, but brought it with you with the Shark Tank. I hope you enjoyed a little creative mix on the, the QB talk. Uh, and let me know what you think. Comment. I'll be back on the board looking, and uh, thanks for tuning in today. I'm Joe Lorendi, and this is Buffalo Fanatics. Have a good Saturday.